you're looking for the motivation to start working out, if you're looking for some tips on how to start working out, then this video is for you. I didn't grow up playing any sports. I never went to the gym. I actually couldn't even run to save my life. But one day I woke up and decided that I needed to get my butt into gear and start working out. So I decided to make some changes and with some persistence, I finally found my groove. I am now 37 years old and I'm a mom of two small kids. And I'm gonna share with you some tips that you can use as a beginner to actually start working out. A year from now, you'll wish you had started today. Step one, change your mindset. I don't have to work out, I get to work out. Say it louder for the people in the back, I don't have to work out, I get to work out. Once you stop thinking about working out as a chore, that shift in mindset is huge. So start thinking about the reasons that you do want to work out. And I know for a lot of people, it's usually physical appearance, but there's so many other benefits to working out. Maybe you want to be sleeping better at night, having more energy throughout the day. Maybe it's that you have small kids like me and you're just trying to keep up with them. Less anxiety, stronger bones, better sleep, decreased risk of disease. I think people, you know, assume that they're in their 40s or 50s and they've never worked out before so they don't think that they can just get a gym, gym membership or start taking spin classes or f45 classes it's never too late to start we're all just trying to be the healthiest versions of ourselves sometimes it can take a life event to motivate us to get there you know whether it's having children and trying to keep up with your children maybe you have an injury and you're starting to work out to try to recover from that but it's never too late to start i never worked out went to the gym did any sport until i was in my 20s and at that point i felt so out of shape compared to everyone else but it doesn't matter I worked and I worked and I worked and at 37 years old I feel like I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in after having two kids we also want to set realistic goals for ourselves so a lot of us look in the mirror and say you know I want to lose 20 pounds this month and that's although possible an unrealistic goal for a lot of people if you set goals too high if you set the bar too high you're just setting yourself up for failure and you're gonna fall off trying to create this routine it takes a lot of consistency before we can call something routine for us. Instead of setting the bar so high, set small goals for yourself. Maybe it's that today you're actually just gonna wake up and go to the gym. Maybe tomorrow you wanna wake up a little bit earlier and take a fitness class. Maybe for you it's that you wanna be able to walk for 30 minutes outside. And then every day setting the bar a little bit higher, something that's still a stretch goal, but achievable so that we're not setting ourselves up for failure. This shift in the mindset is so important. I think people generally always wait until they have free time to work out, but really we should be making time in our day to be working out. For me, I need to wake up a little bit earlier before my kids wake up because that is my time to work out. Working out in the morning is part of my routine. It's part of my day. It's how I stay healthy, focused. It's how I can be the best mom that I can be. So I need to wake up before my kids do to fit that workout in. Maybe if you have classes during the day or work during the day, you need to find the time in the evening to work out before bed. Again, you're not waiting for your time to be free. It'll never be free. There'll always be something that comes up. So just like work, just like school, just like being a mom, working out is something that we must do as part of our routine and we have to fit it into our day. Find a workout that you like. This one is huge. When I was going through university, I couldn't afford to go to the gym. I think we've all done it. We've bought weights. We've bought a mat, we've had the intention to work out at home. And for me, the motivation just was not there. At home, there is 1,001 other things that I could be doing. Saving time to work out, it just never happened. I never actually lifted those weights. I really am impressed by those people that have the motivation to work out from home. It's very easy to compare ourselves to those we see on social media, but it's just not realistic in my opinion. A lot of us have full-time jobs. I work nine to five, I have two children. So I don't have the hours to commit into the gym day in, day out. You need to find what works for you and you need to recognize that you don't have to be in the gym for hours and hours. Going for a 20 minute walk, it can be doing a body weight exercises at home for 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be 
long. It doesn't have to be excessive. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I've talked about my fitness journey before. I finally had enough money to get a membership to a gym. However, I still couldn't find the motivation to go and work out using the weights. So when my gym started offering group classes, that's when I found what worked for me. Working out as a team, having someone guide me, this is what I needed to stay motivated. After university, I joined a hot yoga studio and started taking hot yoga classes, and that really helped with gaining flexibility and strength. And then I slowly started falling in love with spin, became a spin instructor, and now my journey has led me to F45, and I go to F45 about six days a week. Now don't forget what works for me might not work for you for example my husband refuses to do group classes and he prefers to work out on his own at home and i am so impressed by him how he has the motivation to do that at the end of the day after we're exhausted after taking care of the kids so he has found what works for him i have found what works for me and you have to do the same you need to stop thinking about a gym membership as an expense but more as an investment in your health the first class when you walk into a gym or a, any group fitness studio is so so daunting you don't know the people you don't know the style you don't know what you should be wearing or doing it is so stressful even if you've done spin before moving to a new spin studio can be stressful once you walk through that door and complete the first class you are golden it's suddenly so easy to go back you know what to expect you know what to wear you know what to do and that's when you can start pushing yourself and elevating your workouts it's really important to start at a lower intensity when you're working out to prevent any type of injury or any setbacks you can slowly build the intensity over time lifting heavier weights running a little bit further and this is how you're going to achieve your goal once you find a class you like once you find a workout program you like that's it, stick to it, and honestly, it's a game changer. Preparing for your workouts. Registering for my classes ahead of time is how I stay accountable. Usually, you will get charged a late fee if you do not show up, and I am far too cheap to pay a late fee, so pre-booking the classes has helped me stay motivated and it helped me build a routine. And as you guys know, your girl loves cute gym outfits. I find that this also helps me stay motivated. I love investing in new outfits. I get so much wear out of them. So choosing cute workout clothes definitely can help you stay motivated. Because I work out early in the morning, even if you don't, preparing the day before also has a huge impact, making sure you're getting enough sleep, drinking enough water. But I also like to lay out my workout clothes. I like to make sure my key are by the door, my water bottle, my gym bag, everything is there. I'm trying to remove all of the boundaries that may come up that would be excuses for me not to go. Taking pre-workout is something I also started doing. Is it necessary? No, but I find that it gives me a little bit of a boost, a little bit of energy in the morning, gets me a little bit excited for the workout and I find that I can push myself. Now last but not least, we have our post-workout habits and this is just as important if not more than our pre-workout habits. Honestly, what you do after the workout is is just as important as the workout itself. It is so important to take time to recover. And this is something that took me years and years to learn. Like I said, I'm 37 years old, so I find myself a little bit more prone to injury. I never used to stretch after my workout or cool down or anything like that. And just now within the last year, you know, I injured my back, I injured my knee. So definitely taking some time to slow down after my workouts now, stretching it out, drinking lots of water, getting some protein in. And if you saw my last video, you know that I now am incorporating cold plunge into my routine as well which I'm so excited about and I've already seen such great results so take the time you need after your workout to stretch to recover drink water relax if you're not doing this you're gonna feel too sore the next day too tired and that's just one other excuse that you'll use not to continue with your routine obviously rest days are very very important but I recommend scheduling these in otherwise it's very easy to wake up one day and say today's gonna be my rest day it's also really important to make sure you're eating enough to recover when people People are trying to change their physical appearance often they go into such a calorie deficit that isn't healthy or sustainable if you are working out at a high intensity you definitely need to be eating enough food so a slight de calorie deficit is fine but making sure it's not too drastic otherwise again tomorrow you're gonna wake up tired feeling drained, feeling like you can't push through your workout, you're really just not gonna be effective in your workouts if you're not eating enough. So remember, consistency is key here. You're not gonna see results overnight. Be patient and stick with it. It's all about progress and not perfection. There are many days where I wake up and do not feel like going to the gym, but I have to remember the goals I set for myself and 
remembering why I do what I do. I go to the gym because I need it for my mental clarity, I need it for my mental health, so that I can be the best mom that I can be throughout the day. The heaviest weight in the gym is the front door. Once you step through that door, it gets way easier. Every single person in the gym with you, every single person in that fitness class has been in the position that you've been in. They've felt like they didn't belong, they felt insecure, it was their first class. So don't compare yourself to others, don't compare your journey to someone else's journey. What's important is that you focus on yourself and you recognize that you took the right steps to start your journey and have set realistic goals so that you can progress. Something else that's really important to remember is that you might feel insecure and going to the gym you feel like everyone is watching you. Everyone you know might laugh at you if you're doing an exercise wrong or you can't keep up. But honestly, people don't give a shit. They are just excited to have like-minded people in the class with them, in the gym with them, working to better themselves. So stop thinking that everyone's watching you. Stop thinking that people care what you're doing. Focus on yourself, focus on your goals, focus on your progress. I'm so proud of you for starting your fitness journey and you got this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That way it can tell the algorithm to recommend this video to other people just like you that are looking for a little bit of motivation to start working out. Be sure to subscribe for more self-care and fitness content just like this. I so appreciate you watching and being here. Be sure to comment down below what your goals are and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.